Back in rural Oklahoma, smaller schools, football is a big deal, and it is almost football season for local high schools. But one school is tackling something new going into their first game. Saturday's storm hit Burns Flag Dill City High School, causing damage to its stadium. News 4's Hunter Lee spoke with coaches and players to find out what's next for this team and their rebuilding. That tilted building behind me is actually the press box. And while there's definitely some damage to the stands and the locker room, the coaches say they're not letting this storm keep them from having a great season. Mine was just racing like, well, we're, we're still going to have a football season. We're still going to play games. This is the aftermath of the storm that hit Burns Flat Dill City High School. The press box blown off the stands, the roof now on the ground, the stands no longer straight, and inside the locker room, insulation everywhere, the roof left with an open hole. We've already had a bit, some contractors come out and roofers come out and look. So as soon as our adjusters give us the OK, we'll be ready to, to get some things moving. Coach Jones says this is a minor setback, but it's not going to affect their game. Treat it like it didn't even happen. We'll play the same, play hard, fight every night, regardless of where we're changing. We're planning on setting up a temporary press box uh, here at the 50-yard line and also for uh, our announcer. Uh, and it'll look temporary, but, but that'll be okay because that doesn't matter. What matters is what happens on this field. The players say they're ready to tackle the season. I'm pretty hyped. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to start this season. We're building together as a team already. We got some new people joining us, and yeah, I think we're going to do pretty well this year. No matter what plays are thrown at them. In Dill City, Hunter Release, Oklahoma's News 4. The superintendent says they plan to have everything cleaned up and the temporary press box ready for the first game on September 1st.